Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Virgo. This is going to be for the first half of your January from the 1st to the 15th. Um, since this reading can be about anything, you can apply this to any of your replacements, okay? So we're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for the first half of your January, and then we will finish off the read to see uh, what the outcome and advice are, what is what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Virgo here. Over energies for Virgo. What is surrounding Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect for the um, first half of their January from the 1st to the 15th? Tell me about Virgo here. The Empress and the Emperor. Wowie. Look at that. So if you're in a relationship here, things are going pretty dandy here. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. If you're not, this could be something that you could expect in the future here. You could be meeting your soulmate, your divine counterpart, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. You know, it, it could be indication that, you know, you're happy with where you are at, in life. You know, you have a good balance between your feminine and your masculine energy here, okay? We have the Nine of Cups here and the Five of Pentacles. So the Nine of Cups here, okay? Five of Pentacles, justice libra energy here seems like you know things are balancing out for you okay if you've gone through a tough time if you've gone through some setbacks here things are balancing out things are aligning or coming into alignment for you here okay now this could be in the area of finances this could be in the area of love here this could be in the area of your family it could be anything ace of pentacles here Wow, seems like there is a new beginning here. There's a new prosperous beginning here when it comes to perhaps love, or this could be like a business partnership here, okay? Tell me about this emperor here. Why is this emperor here? Three of cups, yeah. I do feel like you're gonna be going out and meeting someone here, and I feel like you're about to have an instant connection here with this individual, okay? Tell me about this uh, ten of cups here. Yeah, you might meet this person at a party. You might be, meet this person, you know, going out or at, at a restaurant, at dinner with your friends. We had a ton. Uh, we had the Death card and the Ten of Cups here. Okay, the Nine of Cups here and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You do have options here. Okay, one of the things is for some of you guys. Some of you guys might be still in the middle of a divorce proceeding here so it could be that yeah a relationship has ended here for you uh ended with someone here that was incredibly selfish maybe this person is mean maybe this person is out there you know talking to other people or something like that or that this is an individual that you just couldn't really count on okay i mean this queen of wands is a very mature individual this is an individual that knows what they want but this queen of wands is also an energy of someone who really enjoys their freedom here too you know energy that you know they're not really quite ready to commit you know so tell me about this five of pentacles here you have the four of swords tell me about the justice card here in the seven of pentacles okay i do feel like you're overcoming a setback that you've been through here i feel like it's taken a long time but i do feel like you're reaching this like very balanced place right now or this very balanced energy that you're in or that you will be in okay yeah it just seems like things are changing really 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 quickly here for you um uh, virgo okay we have the wheel of fortune here in the eight of wands 
okay? Let's see what else do we have here for Virgo. What else do we have for Virgo here? Outcome and advice for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, and work on here for the first half of the January from the 1st to the 15th for Virgo? Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Queen of Pentacles here in the Hermit. Queen of Swords here and the Ten of Pentacles. My, 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 my. So we're just missing one queen here. All the queens, the pre-Empress energy, you know, is the embodiment of the Empress here. So what I'm getting here is that you embody every single quality of the best version of yourself. And I feel like you're attracting that too. Yeah, so the Ace of Swords here and the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, it seems like things could be turning around for you uh, because I feel like, you know, some, I, I don't really quite clearly recall, but I feel like, you know, Virgo, some of you guys, some of you guys might have been going through like some really difficult times and I feel like you could be coming out of it, okay? It could be, you know, it could be difficult and difficulty in finances or something like that uh so the queen of pentacles here and the hermit virgo energy i mean this could be indication that you are coming out of hermit mode here okay you know you're having a major breakthrough here and i feel like there is you know just major abundance uh coming towards you or that that's a flooding in okay queen of swords libra aquarius gemini ten of pentacles here I feel like you're in this like really grounded energy here. Yeah. I mean, you have your thinking cap on here too in regards to how you could get to where you need to be. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Moon, Cancer Pisces here. The Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. There's a lot of competition here. Yeah. Um... You know, this could be competition at work or that, you know, people are fighting over to fighting for you, fighting over for you to be for you to choose them or for you uh, for them to be in their life uh, to for them to be in your life. The moon. Ace of Swords in the moon. It, it feels like a truth is going to come out here or that uh, or that, you know, it could be in this energy of like, you know, you're facing your fears here. You know, you could be putting yourself first and I feel like you're finding clarity in what you're facing here um uh uh virgo tell me about the queen of pentacles here we have the king of wands kings of queen of wands true pair kings of queen of wands empress and the emperor here the hermit and the six of wands here whoever this is this new person that you're meeting here i do feel like this person will walk hand in hand here with you on the spiritual journey some of you guys are, perhaps are really spiritual here I do feel like this is going to be a really successful connection here, okay? Uh, Queen of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Wow. It seems like you're about to meet someone here that you have a very strong soul connection here with, and I feel like you are moving towards like higher levels of commitment. Things are improving here for you. Things are changing for the better here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. This is a really good sign. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.